When a woman was beaten in the street by her partner, she ended up being arrested herself on immigration charges. In another case, a woman who reported being raped to police was also arrested. More than half the country's police forces are reporting victims of crime to the Home Office for immigration enforcement. The figures came from freedom of information requests submitted by the BBC's Victoria Derbyshire programme. A former police officer said victims were low-hanging fruit to meet immigration targets and that forces have no clear policy on it. Campaigners say the government's hostile environment policies mean seriously vulnerable people are not reporting crime. Katrin Nye reports. I was told that we were going to go to the UK to have a better life and start a family, but that wasn't what happened. Sarah, whose name we've changed, was trafficked into the UK by her partner, a British citizen. She wanted to come legally with a valid visa. Saleya Ali is her lawyer. Her trafficker made sure that he brought her in illegally so that she couldn't go to the police because she would get arrested, exactly what's happened in her case. And we see that as a common feature in all domestic violence and trafficking cases. I was treated like a slave. He told me, that's why I brought you here, so you can cook and clean for me and get beaten by me. And it was only when she tried to escape, when she ran out onto the street, he chased after her and beat her up in front of a member of the public who then called the police. They arrested the perpetrator. They took her to hospital because of the severity of her injuries. And this is a pretty extensive list of bruising. She had bruises and cuts all over her body. Sara was then released from hospital and taken to a hostel. But once there, she was arrested too and taken to Yarlswood Immigration Detention Centre to be deported. Saleya Ali again. Victims of crime are being seen and treated as criminals just because of their status. It's something that we're coming across routinely now and it's as a result of Theresa May's hostile environment policy that has been brought into effect by the Immigration Act. We did freedom of information requests to all UK police forces to find out which ones report victims of crime like Sara and witnesses to the Home Office for Immigration Enforcement. We found that 27 UK forces do – Some said a straight yes, others with caveats like not routinely or it's rare. Three police forces said they did not, including Police Scotland. The rest were unclear, didn't reply or said they had no data. In December, the National Police Chiefs Council issued guidance on this, saying Where a person has reported to police that they are a victim of crime, only where there is intelligence or information that the person poses an immediate risk of harm to a specific individual or a wider group of people should an immediate arrest be made. But only three police forces who responded to us said they were following this guidance. Well, the guidance is very vague. Dal Babu is a former chief superintendent with the Metropolitan Police. You need a lot more information there and, and I don't think it would be particularly helpful to your average police officer who's got a huge caseload who's, who's going to have to make a decision very, very quickly. Why are charities saying that since 2014 this has been ramped up? I think these are, you know, it's a terrible term, but these are low-hanging fruit. These are vulnerable people. They're easy to tick off your, on your list if you've got a, a target to meet. Caroline Lucas, the co-leader of the Green Party, thinks there should be a complete block of information, a firewall, between the police and immigration officers when it comes to victims of crime. This hostile environment, I think, is doing deep damage to our society. I mean, I've heard of people, for example, being the subject of rape, being afraid to come forward to report that rape, which means that the perpetrator of that rape is still at large. That is not in anybody's interest. Lawyer Saleya Ali stopped Sarah's deportation order. She's now applied for asylum in the UK. She says she fears she'll be killed if she returns to her home country. He was going to kill me here. So what's going to stop him from doing it back home, where they kill you and nobody ever knows? Catherine Nye reporting there. And Catherine's findings were put to the Home Office, who said... Our immediate priority is to ensure that all vulnerable migrants receive the support and assistance they need, regardless of their immigration status. Victims of crime must be treated first and foremost as victims. When individuals are found to have no basis in the UK, we carefully consider the details of the case before taking an enforcement action.